Welcome, friends, Sir Nigel Coggs, more Mineplex clans. And look, I have a treasure chest to open. Let's see what's inside. Choose four to open. Huh. You. Uh, okay. You. You. Paintball gun, which of course is a, what, a llama? And you. Okie dokie. Well, thanks. So how do I go about using those now? Let's see. Is it in the cosmetics menu? Well, that's not the point of this video. So, let's go into clans. A quick trip up to the observation area to see if there's anyone running around outside. Doesn't look like it. I expanded the area of this room. Still no tree yet, though. Come on, tree. And look at what someone has done. They've created the Cogs Fan Clan. Isn't that nice of them? It's very nice of them. And they've added more uh, artistic flair to the lovely heart that's out here. Before there were some, some words out here too. Some big words made out of, you know, letters. Words tend to be that way, I've found. Just jumping around. Oh, jumping around. Now look, now look at this. You, you see that, that name tag just bouncing all over the place? Now, this is something we've gone over before, that it's part of the anti-cheat system that for whatever reason, they think it's a good idea to have the name tag bouncing everywhere instead of just, you know, disabling the name tag at the very least so it doesn't, doesn't show up. This is a really good angle to see it from. I really don't like that name tag. Not that one specifically in particular, just the way the anti-cheat system works with displaying the name tag in general. Carrots for days. Maybe I should open a carrot shop, which on clans wouldn't work at all. When it comes to base design, of course, it's popular to build a moat. And no, this isn't the entirety of the moat. This is just the moat that I started and then didn't do much else with because I had to keep getting resources for more kits and things like that. But anyhow, water is a popular choice because it slows people down. There are a number of skills you can't use while in the water, such as burrito consumption. I've, I've heard that eating burritos in water doesn't work very well. However, eating Taco Bell apparently can give you propulsion while in the water. But something I've been thinking about lately are these spider webbies. Because they're sticky, you can't just run right through them. Like this. Wee! I mean, you already know. Ah, oh, crud. I should get, um... Oh, I was going to, yes, I should get the, the, what you call shears to remove them, providing that working with spider webs on clans works like it does on the rest of Minecraft, where if you place them and then that gives you string. What if you place them and then use an ax? No, if you place them and then use, that also gives you string. Huh. Anyhow, so my overall idea is what if we take spider webs and then use them as something of a defensive feature? How about we place some, for instance, right here? Well, I didn't mean to place that one there, but it's there now, isn't it? So now people can't charge through it, including myself. 
because it's very scientific that way. Like, what if we did something like this, right? So now if there's someone out here saying, Oh boy, I can't wait for him to come outside so I can do some high quality professional. Like this guy right here, what does he want? Oh, come on. Jeez. You see what I'm up against here, people? Yeah, good luck. As a further test of my spiderweb idea, let's place one right there. Because one thing I don't know is if you can safely fall into a spider web. Of course, you can fall into water, and it's fine. But do spider webs work that way, too? Let's find out together, you and me. Here we go. Come on, and whoop. The answer is yes. A spider web is a safe alternative. A safe alternative of uh, of a place you can you you can fall into. I do wonder. I know some of the rules are kind of wacky when it comes to clans. If you place spider webs outside, can other people remove them? I can't see from here. Let's get a higher vantage point. Well, it looks like the spider webs are still there. So either people can't remove spider webs from your protected area, or that person just chose not to. One or the other. I'm going to eat a carrot. Why am I not eating a carrot? Right click, right click, left click, right click. Right. Oh, so, um, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. It looks like it's about time to stock up on energy for the clan. But, as you can see, we've recently had visitors. So... Is that them standing way over there? I don't think so. Let's chance it and try to run to the store. Yes, that's not them. That's just the doorway for that little house of that other clan that decided to build by me, which is just lovely. Friends are magic. Hey, look, there's someone behind me. And off they go. Goodness gracious. I think maybe. That's great. That, that, that was not a good idea. I was thinking that I would place the um, cobweb behind me, of course, and then they would get stuck in it. But instead, I placed it right under me. And I got stuck in it. What are they on a horse for? What are they doing? I haven't even healed yet. I guess I took out their horse. And this is why making a video outside of the base can be difficult. Now I have an idea for how I would like to improve the moat. But I'm certainly not going to be trying anything like that when there's someone running around outside trying to do a bit of hunting. Especially now that I don't have my kit. So I think that's going to do it for this video. With the name tag bouncing around above us. So I hope you found this little bit of a video interesting. And remember to like and subscribe. If you want to like and subscribe, because both things are great to do. Well, that was sort of interesting of him to do. If I can actually get back inside before the, uh, whatcha call him 
skeleton does anything interesting. Now look, I've got multiple sets, multiple kits. 